Good afternoon everybody, I'm Debbie from Tyler's Travels and I'm talking to you from Dougie, our camper van, on the drive. <laughs> now I've got Tyler with me, I'll just let you see. She's asleep, mind you. There are we, Tyler's. Sleeping beauty there. <laughs> right, this is just a little bit of info as to what, what's been happening lately. And for those who watched, who've watched our videos, you'll know that, well, it was in 2021, we ordered a CV40 from Eldest. Now that van never materialized, to be honest, I don't think it ever existed. And um, so we canceled. And when we did cancel, this is when we got Dougie, our Ford Transit Custom. Uh, we bought it from Tyne Valley Motorhomes. Now, Never really had any intention of getting a, a pop-top type van. Wasn't something I'd, we'd even looked at, to be honest. But, you know, we were sick of looking, sick of waiting. And we thought, you know, we had a good look. And we thought, no, we'll, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a try. And, yeah, we've had some really good times in it. Really, really enjoyed our times in it. But there's compromises with a smaller van. And it's always been at the back of my mind. I mean, I really look, you know, I really, really wanted the CV40 and it never came. So that's always been at the back of my mind. I wanted a bigger, a bit more space, a bigger van. So I've always been looking. So I think it was probably last year, beginning of last year, we went to the Harrogate show and we were looking at vans then. We had Tyler with us at the time, having a good look around. I mean, there were some lovely vans. But we had to take turns going inside looking at the vans because dogs weren't allowed inside. And I remember at the time looking at a consort. Now I've never heard of consort before, but there were these vans called the make was consort. And I remember at the time thinking, by they're gorgeous, really lovely vans. I loved the layouts of them, I loved them, I thought they were really, really nice. But they were way out of our price range. And we had this that's when we had the um, C V forty on order, which we were waiting for. So, you know, that was my first, the first time I actually saw them. And they were all, they've always been on my mind ever since. Now, as I say, the CV40 never came. We cancelled it. The day we cancelled it was when we saw our Ford Transit, which we have now. But again, always at the back of my mind, I've always wanted something a bit bigger. So it was last year at the NEC, uh, we went there in October just purely to look again what was available really. So we had a good look round and certain vans I wanted to look at again, I knew Consort were there. I looked at Wild Axe, I wanted to look at Consort, but unfortunately Consort didn't have any vans. They didn't have no vans there. The stand was there, but there was no vans. Now, when I think back now in hindsight, I wish we'd inquired, but we didn't. We'd have nothing to look at. I thought, what's the point? You know, there's nothing to look at. I was just, we just went to look at vans. And after having a good look round, that's when we saw the Swift. The new Swift Carrera 144 caught our eye. And we looked at it, thought about it, spoke to the salesman, Joe. Uh, Sam, sorry, thank your pardon, Sam it was. And um, I felt like I, there was nothing to lose, really. I put a deposit down on it. We were told April, May of this year, and, I, and it, has, it had the same layout as the CV40 would have had. So I thought, great, fingers crossed, you know, I had good feelings that it was going to happen. So, you know, we only saw it the once and that was at the show. And, you know, of course, you can't go and look at them anywhere. There's nowhere to, all I've got is brochures to look at. So anyway, um, it was supposed to come, as I say, April, May. Now we had a phone call beginning of the month there to tell us that the Swift had gone up by five grand from when I ordered it last October. And I'd said, no, I'm not paying any more than the price I ordered it at. 
So after a lot of ooh and an hour and sort of thing, we found out that it was a mistake on their part, who had ordered it through, Lone Roads, um, that the price the price increase was only on newly ordered vans, not pre-ordered vans, which ours was. So, I mean, I was really upset at the time. I thought, no way am I paying more money. It, it, you know, it was enough money to pay as it was without another five grand on top of it. Anyway, we got that sorted, but it started putting doubts in my mind. I kept thinking, hmm, have we made the right choice sort of thing? Anyway, um, we went to the Harrogate show again this year again I had a good look around and I knew the consort vans were there this time and we didn't go with Tyler this time so we could both go inside and have a look around so we had a really good look around and as I say we looked at the consort vans this time and had a really good look at them and the one in particular the reef too which has like a rear lounge really caught my eye I mean, to be honest, I just fell in love with it. I was thinking, you know, it really put doubts in my mind about the Swift. We had a really good talk to, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I'm losing my voice. I had a really good talk to Jane, it's Jane and Scott, who run Consort, who own Consort. And we had a really good talk to her and she gave us other options. I mean, a brand new Consort on the new Fiat Ducato is out of our price range, you know, I mean, how much more money are you going to spend sort of thing. But there was a chance to, um, you know, like a chance to get one a lot cheaper if you went on, if they were doing like an offer where it's, uh, if you get a van that's one or two year old on a Peugeot with their conversion and it was going to work out as £20,000 less, you know, <coughs> excuse me. So I was thinking, hmm, yeah, yeah, that could be possible. So, you know, I took a brochure home. We've had a good think about it. We've worked things out, costs and what have you. And I thought, hmm, should, should we or shouldn't we go for it? And I was thinking, well, if they can find a van that is, near, you know, with as low mileage as possible and as nearly new as possible on a Peugeot, I said, should we go for it? So Trevor had emailed Scott to say that, you know, if they can find us a van that is as new as possible with as low mileage as possible, we'd be very, very interested. Anyway, <clears throat> we got a phone call. We got a phone call to say he'd found us a van. Now, we'd booked a factory tour as well. Because I thought, well, I'd like to go and see, you know, discuss things. I'd like to go and see them. We booked a factory tour for the 28th. And when Scott phoned, he said, how do you fancy coming next week? So we're going for a factory tour on the Tuesday. And we are going to order a new van. I've actually cancelled the Swift with the intention <clears throat> of ordering a consort reef. So that's our little, you know, that's what we've got to tell you. And the funny thing is, which is really, I find it really bizarre, is we went away at the weekend in Dougie. We went to the Caravan and Motorhome site at Bridlington, which, if you've never been, is a beautiful site. And we'll definitely, we're going to go back. We really, really enjoyed it. And I've never been to Bridlington. We'd, we've both never been to Bridlington. So... We'd gone on the Saturday and on the Sunday we went down in the van, parked up and we had a walk along the beach with Tyler, had a great time running, chasing pebbles and what have you. <laughs> and we had a walk along the front, mind you, it was as windy as it was cold and it was extremely windy, but the sun was shining and it was, it was lovely, you know. But we're walking along, Trevor was doing some video in there and it was, it was bizarre it really was bizarre <laughs> because we stood there and I just happened to turn around and who should be walking towards me at that very point that we were there and on that very day was Scott and Jane from Consort Motorhomes and I said I had to do a double take I says look I couldn't believe it you know I said 
it's fate it's fate and we got talking to them and I, they are such a lovely couple such a lovely couple and i said it's fate that we've met you you know because that's all we'd been talking about is con should you know about the consort motorhomes should we or shouldn't we cancel the swift should we go for consort and yet we met them on that sunday so that's what's changed changed our minds completely you know i'm i can't wait to be honest i really can't wait it's i think it was meant to be really meant to be and what i also love about them as well consort is like you get these big companies swift and elders as i say you just you're just a number if you've got problems or anything like that there's no personal touch with them whereas you book with something like consort order through them it's the customer service you're a name they know your name you're a person you're not just a number to them so any problems you know you can go straight to them and they'll they'll sort you out and it's that that sold it to me as well not just the van because the conversion's beautiful but it's the after service you get so i really think fingers crossed we've made the right choice this time and i honestly can't wait as i say we're going for the factory tour on the tuesday of next week so we'll let you know how that goes and fingers crossed this is the one the only one no more We're messing about this is third time lucky so watch this space guys catch you later bye now Hope you enjoyed that little video if you did don't forget we're Tyler's Travels so please like and subscribe thanks again bye now